Hey, what up guys? It's Laura here. Now, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Canva for beginners. Now, what is Canva? Canva is a free publishing platform where you can make a bunch of different things like logos, flyers, banners, even YouTube thumbnails. This is my favorite thing and many other things. Great thing is that Canva is for free and that you can get a lot out of it in the free version. Of course, they also offer Canva Pro, which is their paid version, and it comes with extra features. But if you're a beginner, Canva free version will work pretty good for you. So that's being said, let's get started. First things first, go to canva.com. If you have an account, you can simply just go and log in. But if you don't have an account, you can sign up choosing from these three options. Continue with Google, Facebook or email. And over here, there is this fourth option, continue another way. And if you click on it, you will see more options. I would recommend to choose the most convenient option for you. After you create your free account and log in, you'll land on Canvas home screen. As a beginner, it's good to start with pre-made templates, which you can see over here. But you can always design from scratch by clicking custom size and entering your dimensions. I rather recommend to use pre-made templates because it really lowers the pressure to get started. Let's start with creating logo. This is the place where we can design our logo or any other project that we want to create using Canva. On the left side, you can see Canva offers different templates. Some of them are pro, uh, which means that you can get them in Canva paid version, but the rest of them are free of charge, available for Canva basics. And here you can see video template for your logo, which is pretty cool, I would say. If you click on this one, you can change font. You can change also the size of the font. Also, you can change any color you want. You can just play around which one is the best for you, for your design. Even these border lines, you can make them different, different style, with different weight, and also with different colors and etc. Okay, let's take another template. Let's go for this one. In this logo, we have element as well, besides uh, just simple text. And if you don't like this element, you can delete it completely or just keep it. Probably if you're creating logo, you would like to use your own name, so you can change that one as well. Like in the previous example, you can also change the color of the text. You can uh, change the color of the background. Cool thing is that you can move your elements around, rotate them, turn them upside down and many other things. If you like your design, you can finish it by clicking on the share button and just simply download it. We can go to homepage and choose another project. There are so many templates and thumbnails, so you can just look around and see what's the best for you. As you can see, we have plenty of options over here as well. If you want to use your own picture on your thumbnails, that's also possible, just insert them. But if you want to use transparent photo without the background, then you have to use Canva Pro, which is paid version. Just play around, see what kind of background color you want to use. You can uh, use from palette, different kind of colors. When you decide which background color to use, then you can go to your text. You can change the text. You can also change the size of it, also change the color of it, whatever. You can play around with elements. You can move them around. You can make them smaller or bigger. You can search for other elements if you don't like existing ones. You can even search for elements, for specific elements. Let's say we want to find clock, so just type in clock. Okay, I want to use this element, but I want to use it behind her. Just right click on the element and choose send to back. If you think you added too many elements, you can simply delete them as well. And if you're done with your thumbnail, you like everything, you can go to downloads. And if we go back to our homepage, at the bottom you can see recent designs, 
There you can find everything you made recently. If we go to logo maker page, then here we can read more about how to create your logos. There is full information about that. And if we go to start design a custom logo, it will direct us to our design page. I hope now it's a little bit clearer what Canva is and that this will help you in your future projects. If you want to see more videos about Canva, please leave the comment below and I will make new content for you. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.